Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. My name is Keandra, if you're new here, welcome, if not welcome back. So today, we are going to be doing a curly hair routine because I know y'all see my hair and you're like, girl, what happened? Oh my gosh, it's so gross. Honestly, it's been like a week since I washed it and what we're working with honestly i can't even get my fingers through it the bleach hair is is I'm just gonna the first thing i'm gonna do is put some rosemary oil in it i always put it in before i take a shower so i'm gonna put it in for a couple minutes an hour honestly i don't go past that because who has time to just let oil sit in your hair i don't so i'm gonna put that in my hair and i really don't need too too much I just take it and I just rub it in like my scalp it's really the bleached ends like girl please cut it uh, I might I just might in this video cuz that's last time I got my hair cut it was in December and I asked the lady to cut off as much of the bleach hair as she could because nothing hits more than a dark juicy curl like okay it, I can't find one right now but they're they're in there don't worry Y'all ever just look at yourself and you're like, why do I look like this? Who allowed me to look like this? Because it's just, it's a cry for help, really. Okay, you know what I've learned too is that, and I don't know if this is different for everyone's hair, but the hairs in the front of your head are more stretched, or the curls, I should say, are more stretched than the ones in the back. Like, I don't know about y'all, but the hair in the back on my neck, like back here is so much like thicker and tighter than the hair in the front but i think it's because when like i style my hair i always like brush the back or brush my hair to the back like when you do a slick back or put it up like these are the hairs always getting touched so i feel like they need the most love this is what we're working with this is the before Throw this up. And I'll be back to y'all before I wash it. It's been almost an hour since I last came on and put the rosemary oil in my hair. Oh my God. So I think I'm gonna cut the rest of the bomb pieces out because it's easier to see when it's dry because the blonde hair is like lighter when it's dry versus when it's wet. These are the products I use. So the brand is Acure and I have their ultra hydrating shampoo and their ultra hydrating conditioner. This one needs to be replaced very soon. But I really like this brand. The ingredients are really clean. Um, you can get it at Whole Foods, Sprouts, I don't know anywhere else, but that's where I've seen them. And sometimes I do like to use this um, deep conditioner, but it really just depends on how much energy I have because honestly, washing my hair drains me. So having to wash my hair and then deep condition is like a lot. So I don't always do that. Going to cut out the blonde pieces. So I'm just gonna part it in the middle cause I kind of know where the pieces are. such a bad idea but if you can see let's just cut those off that part is dark but these are light so we're gonna cut them obviously not all of them because um i'm no hairstylist
dark hair just gives. It really does just give what it's supposed to. Okay, that's all I'm gonna cut. But I'm gonna jump in the shower. I will come back when I'm out the shower. Peace. So we are freshly out the shower. I'm gonna moisturize, put some clothes on, and I'll be right back so we can start styling. Okay, so I am dressed, done, lotioned up. When I'm in the shower, I will detangle with either this, like a really wide tooth comb, or my fingers, and just work the conditioner in. I let it sit for a little bit while I wash my body, wash my face, and then I rinse everything out at the end. So when it comes to styling, let me show y'all the products that I use. So I always like to style my hair wet, like very wet, like it is dripping literally. And I also keep a spray bottle, which I think this is from Sally's. Keep a spray bottle just in case as I'm going through, it's getting drier and I can refresh those pieces. Another thing I like to use when styling is a tangle teaser brush. The Denman brush, I just feel like this is works better for me and the type of curls and like wash and goes that I like. And let's get to styling. So what I like to do is section my hair as I style, cause I like for, um, you can see it's already frizzing up, but I like for, just to focus on certain parts as I go. So what I'll do is, first I'll set this like whole bottom row, probably not even, but I like to set this bottom row like aside, and then I'll just tie the rest of this up in a scrunchie. Put it in half, as you can see, it's starting to frizz a little bit. So I will wet it again. And then I'll brush with the tangle teaser to like clump it almost. You can see it's like more clumped now. I feel like that helps it just keep in the moisture as well. But I'll brush it till it clumps. And then first I'll go in with this. This is the Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls. And honestly, if you know, you know, like this product, I don't know what it is about it, but it just really does get the curls right. So I put about a quarter size amount in my hand and I'll just run it from the root to the tip until it feels moisturized and like it's all over the hair. And I would do the same for the other side. That's about how much I put on one side because I don't like to for my hair to be like weighed down so and then once that is done I'll go back in with the tangle teaser and I feel like this distributes the product evenly throughout but this will be the last time that I use it like after I put in my gel which this is the gel I use the Rizzo's curls like whole gel I'll put about the same amount, like a quarter size, and I will just run this over the same pieces. Shake it a little bit, and then it's done. We have some juicy, juicy curls.
So the next part, I like to get like this back area because that is actually one of the driest spots of curly girl's hair. And it's often overlooked just because of where it is on your head. Like it is so awkward to get to that spot. I'm gonna set that part aside. Ow, that actually hurt. And then I'm gonna put this part up. But this part I use a lot more water because of how dry it gets. So now we're gonna take out this part and I think I'm just gonna do a middle part. So I'll literally take this through the middle. Okay, that was not straight. Let's try that again. See, you can tell the hair that's like not styled versus the hair that's styled. Like, look at this, look how silky. And then look at that, frizzy, just gross, honestly. So I like to do these one at a time just because it is like the hair on top of your head that gets the most like attention, I feel. Like people see this hair the most. If you've never chopped your hair, you need to. It's such a liberating feeling. I know it sounds funny because it's like, why would not having hair be liberating? But like, it so is. Like, I just love it. There, like I said, there's nothing better than like healthy hair. Make sure you're in those trims. I know some of y'all be holding on to your hair and you're like, no, I don't want to cut it. I don't want to trim it. Trim it. Trimming it, it will feel better and it will look so much better. Like those little scraggly ends, they're not cute. If no one told you, I'm going to tell you, they're not cute. They're really not. I just put um, some gel on my hands and I just literally go around my head and just add it like everywhere just to like seal it all off and what I normally do is wet it a little bit before I do that so it doesn't get like sticky I don't know if y'all ever dealt with like sticky gel but I have and I don't like it so make sure that it's a little damp That part is pretty much done. So, back. 
I think I'm gonna make one of these videos like every six months just so I can see like my hair growth and like the progress and just like what I use because I feel like I change what I use so often. So now I'm gonna lay my edges underneath because sometimes you need to lay the edges because if you pull your hair back and it's looking like this, uh -uh, gotta fix that. So this is the um, edge control I use edge booster and then I just use this little brush it's by Cantu you get the point but I think I got this from Target or Walmart I'm not sure everything here except this this you're gonna find at the beauty supply store I just like dip I literally just take oh, the scissors I literally just take this and dip it in here a little bit because I really don't need that much and I just pull pull the edge down and this is it it's still very very wet granted i literally just wet it with a spray bottle so i'm gonna come back when it is almost dry or completely dry this is what we got for now and i'll see you in a bit back with an update it's about 90 percent dry but Okay, y'all, so this is the finished product. My hair is 100% dry. You see the curls, get into the curls, honestly. These two products have been holding me down for the past few weeks, I'll say, and I love it. And yeah, so make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Leave in the comments what you want to see next. And it's only up from here. Bye.